Are you a professional? <laughs> Are you? That's it, Clark. Sure moves, boss. Oh, we're all in this together! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mr. Clark Griswold YouTube channel. I am Mr. Clark Griswold. You can follow me on Twitter at Mr. Clark Griswold. You can comment there. You can DM me there. You can do the same thing on YouTube down below in the comment section. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the little bell. That will give you guys notifications every time I send out a new video, which I do almost daily with potential setups for the following day for you guys to have a look at. So today I want to talk about the inside bar and how to trade that using options. Now when I first started trading options I didn't really get good until I started focusing on just trading the inside bar. And then once you get good at that and you back test it and you know that it works then you can start improving your skills and looking at other things and other triggers and other setups other ways to trade so what is an inside bar so i'm just going to shut off some of these other indicators here to make this a little bit more clean so an inside bar we're looking at spy right now uh, it's a S&P 500 ETF, SPY, and we're backdated to November 11th, 2021. So if we look at what an inside bar is, what an inside bar is and what we're saying is that on August, or sorry, November 11th, this is a daily chart. So on that day, we did not go higher than the previous day's bar candle. And we didn't go lower than the previous day's candle. We stayed and we traded within the range of the previous day's candle. That is an inside bar. When we're looking at the strat or trading with the strat, it's called a one bar. Inside bar, one bar, it's the same thing. So I'm going to show you guys how to trade this. I'll, I'll bring up a little uh, photo here we want to look at it so this was created by trade sniper sarah and costumor so go give those two a follow on twitter and what we're looking at here if we just look at these top six drawings that they've got so you notice there's an inside bar inside bar inside bar inside bar inside bar inside bar so we're going to show you how to trade those Go ahead and take a snapshot of this if you'd like. Um, I will post it on Twitter as well so you can check my Twitter feed. I believe Trade Sniper Sarah probably also has it on her Twitter feed as well, as well as Costume Orc. But uh, let's show you guys how to trade these things. So on Spy, what we're going to want to do is set our triggers. So our triggers are going to be at the high of the of the candle that traded on November 11th and the low so we have those triggers in place uh, and the other thing that we should do is set our targets so our target for the high side would be here our target for the low side if it goes down would be to that range there and if we want to go a little further, we can hit, uh, we can put in second targets here and second targets down below. So basically, our targets just set up at the previous day's high. Here, here, the next one would be here, the next one would be here. Same thing if we're going down in the opposite direction. Uh, here at this candle here then this candle here and so on and so forth 
I don't care if you guys take profits. I would rather you guys go green and make 10% than, than lose on a trade. But try and hit those targets. Uh, if you're nervous, take your profit. Base hits, base hits, base hits. There's too many, way too many times people are always trying to hit home runs, and that that's when you'll fail as a trader. When you when you're trying to hit those 100, 150, 200, 300, 400 percenters every time, it, it just doesn't happen all the time. So if you take 20 percent, 30 percent, 40 percent, 20 percent, 30 percent, if you can do those base hits over and over and over again, you will be successful day trading or swing trading or, or whatever you, you decide to do. So we're looking at this on a daily chart. I'm going to hop down to the three minute chart so we can replay this and see how it plays out. I don't know how it's going to play out. Um, so let's take a look. So if we play this on the three minute, we're going to start. We open and right away we open way 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 up here okay but we we haven't crossed any of our triggers yet we haven't touched them next three minute bar we're going down next three minute bar we're going down and then we hang out we're chopping around for three this on three minute bars chopping around chopping around and let's just wait to see how this plays out Another inside bar. Another inside bar chopping around. It's a choppy morning, looks like, to start. And we'll just keep watching. And again, we don't have to do anything. If it doesn't hit those triggers, these, these two pink lines, then we don't need to be in the trade. So we're just in an hour into the morning. And look, you can see we start to trend upwards here. And there it is. So this is our first point where we trigger into the high side into calls. So you can set this up, guys, as automated orders, and you don't even you don't need to watch this. You can set up automated orders to buy in. At that 465 32 or 33 wherever you want to buy in but you can set up an automated order you can put in your stop losses and then you can put in your profits so once it hits a certain target you're done you're out you didn't even look at the screen so let's just see how this plays out again I'll narrow this down a bit and let's see if we can hit some of our if we hit our triggers so up So, and if this were me and you were, see how we're just, we're just trending up. If you're getting nervous and you don't think you're going to, this is already, this is really good money here, guys. We're into, we're into good money. You're hitting base hits here, base hits on options. And if you're not comfortable sitting around and waiting and you're not automated, get out of the trade. You're green. The other thing you can do if you are watching it, move your stop losses. So as you guys cross this line. You can put your stop loss to even, okay? And that way you're not losing any money. But as we break up higher, now we've hit a high here. Now you can put your stop loss to here. Now you can put your stop loss to here if if you're watching it. But let's see if we hit that first trigger or not. Come down, we get an outside bar. And if this is where we currently have our stop loss... Let's see what happens. See if we hit that. I don't even know if we hit our trigger. So there, we would have been stopped out there. And you would have made your money and you're done. So this just just tags the line. You see that? Right there, we just tagged that 467.37. And you hit your first trigger. And so let's see how the rest of this day plays out. I'm just going to speed it up here. So we hit the trigger once. 
coming through, coming through, coming through. And then we're into the noon hour where I am. And we just kind of chop around all day, chop around, chop, 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 chop. So you could have taken your profits back there, been done for the day and, and out. Uh, let's just see where we end up on the day here. Curious to see. And there, we finally, we finally crossed that trigger at right at the end of the day. So that took all day to overtake that trigger. As I said before, me personally, I don't know if I would have waited for it to hit that trigger. I would have moved my stop loss up as I showed you guys, and I would have been out of that trade. So that's this is what it looks like on the daily chart. We were in here, and my stop loss when I had it would have been somewhere in this 467 range. That's one to one. One full bar up as a winner. Uh, that's good money, and it's good money on options. And that's the easiest That's the easiest way to trade options. You cross that trigger, and you go. And we hit targets, and we're away. So if we speed this up, I think there was one more play here. So here's an example on another inside bar where we would have opened, it uh, looks like above the range. So if we opened above, what I'm saying there is, this was the high of the previous day, this top of this wick on this inside bar, we opened up above that wick. So there was a gap. I wouldn't have played this trigger then. There's other ways to play that with the gaps. We're not going to go over that today. But even if we go back here and look, same thing. This this inside bar here on November 8th, we opened up. We went as high as this green bar. And then we came down for wicked good money. This would have made a killing on this one if you played that inside bar. And it's not even the the daily time frame that you have to that you have to play, excuse me. We can go to the weekly chart as well, and you can play these on the weekly. Same thing. Here, up, hit the target, which is the top of this wick. Good money. We're into November. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close out of the replay here. And so now we're back to this. I'm going to get rid of these lines. You can play it on any stock. I like to use ones that are more liquid, like SPY, which just means it's they're easily bought and they're easily sold. The spread between the bid and the ask is not far apart, so you're not losing any money. Um, but So we are on a weekly time frame now. So you can get your options a week out. You can get them two weeks out. Look, we cross this, the high of this inside bar, we cross our, our trigger point and we're up and we're off. And you could have held this thing into the next week and you would have hit your trigger there, but this is still good money for the week. Let's see if we can go back and find another one. If we go a little further back, this in the strat is a 3-1 setup or Rich from Trading Wars would call this his holy grail. That's why it's it's highlighted in yellow. It's one of his, his indicators. But again, we break this hit our trigger and we're gone hit the first target and this is really good money and these are weeklies so let's see what happens if we go to the monthly if we go on to a monthly chart for spy I'm far out here there we go if we go on to the monthly chart for spy and let's see if we can find some inside bars. There's plenty of outside bars here. I'm going to talk about the outside bars in a separate video for you guys. But let's get used, if, used to, if you're not used to trading inside bars, let's get used to trading them. And, and practice using them and 
back test. Go back and look on previous inside bars on different stocks and different ETFs that you guys want and, and follow them. So if we look, we're now on a monthly chart. 3-1 setup. We have an inside bar. And look, we cross, hit the first target, and we're gone. You want to hold this thing for two months, three months, four months, five months, six months? You want to get a, a leap that, that's an option that's that's far out uh, of your end date? And you're making a killing on these things. So inside bars, look at them, back test them. Here's another one on the monthly. Break the high, gone. Let's see if we can find another one on the monthly. Here, break the high, gone. Inside bar, break the low, we're gone. Like, they're just, they're, they're fairly consistent if you want to play these and make money. Hit it, we didn't hit targets, but you, you would have made profits. It went from 257.78 all the way down to 254.49. On options, that's big money. Inside bar. Break the top of this wick, we're gone. How about the quarterly? Let's let's take a look at the quarterly and, and see what we have on inside bars here. So this is every, each one of these bars represents three months. Inside bar, we break it, we're gone. Inside bar, break it, we're gone. Inside bar, break it, we're gone. How about on the yearly? Let's go on to a 12 month chart for SPY. See if we can't find an inside bar. Here we go. Inside bar on a, this bar represents 12 months of trading. We break it. We're gone. Uh, let's pick something else. How about space? Let's go on to a, a daily chart for space. Look at inside bar. We broke it. Gone. Inside bar. We broke it. We are gone. Inside bar, broken to the high side, gone. It, it's a very consistent uh, setup for, for new people to just watch and, and play. Let's look at space on, uh, on a weekly time frame, see if there's anything there. Again, here we go. Inside bar, this is from December 20th. Broke the low, gone. And again, they, they don't work out all the time, but when they do, you're making money on it. Here, inside bar on November 1st, we break it, hit one target, hit two targets. We have another one here. So here's one, and again, you can say that it didn't work because we have a an outside bar, which means following the inside bar day, we went higher than the inside bar high and lower than the inside bar low but we would have opened here and we would have went all the way up to here we would have hit our targets and you could have taken your profits and you would have been done and again there's another way to trade this outside bar but we're not going to go through that today so there is multiple you could look on any stock apple let's go to apple and this will be the last one because we're getting into 18 minutes here but Apple, here we go. Inside bar, we didn't hit our trigger. We went below, and you likely would have got stopped out on this one. And we're not going to win them all, but out of the ones we looked at, this is the first one that we've seen that wouldn't have worked for us. We wouldn't have been able to really take, take profits on it. But let's go back and see if we can find, here's another one. Inside bar, we broke the high of this wick here, and we're gone. Same thing. We broke the high of this wick and we're gone. And these are on the weekly. We can take Apple on the daily and do the same thing. And we can look for inside bars on the daily for Apple. So here's one. We broke the low. Uh, and we didn't really, we, we probably would have lost out on this one, to be honest, unless you had Unless you were further out, this didn't retrace back. Uh, unless you would have stopped yourself out and you would have had a stop loss in, and then you just take the next trade. But if you would have kept it, again, you would have made money here. I don't know if I would have held it because I don't usually hold options overnight. Here's another one inside bar, though. 
Top of the wick, we're broken and we're gone. Break the trigger and we're gone. And we hit our targets and more. We'll go back one more here. Again, inside bar, we break the trigger and we're gone. Inside bar, break the trigger, we are gone. Inside bar, break the trigger here, gone. Break the trigger, gone. It's just, this is by far, I believe anyways, the easiest way to trade options when you're starting up and playing that inside bar. If you guys have questions on this, feel free to ask. Um, but it's a pretty easy setup. So take a look at these. Go back and look at your own stocks. You should have a list of stocks that you guys look at every day for setups. And, and just go back and take a look and, and back test it and, and see if, see if you see what I'm seeing and you're making money when we break these when we break these triggers either to the low side or the high side and if, again if you have questions or comments make sure to leave them below I'll get back to you guys and like I said before make sure you subscribe I put out daily videos on setups for reversals for outside bars for rev strats for inside bars for you guys to take a look at and and be prepared for the next trading day and you guys can pick what what you think are the best ones out of those i also put out free triggers on twitter as well daily so thanks for watching guys i appreciate you guys watching i appreciate everybody who follows me out there and have a good night have a good day have a good afternoon whenever you're watching the video take care and we'll see you next time bye bye